I'm looking at skill BB2 and 3 underneath adjectives and adverbs. So we're going to start with forming and using comparative and superlative adjectives. So keyword there being adjectives, meaning that they're going to describe a noun or a pronoun. So they give us this example question here. Miss Moran prefers living in California because the climate is much mild, milder, mildest, than in Minnesota where she grew up. So those are going to be our choices. Now, comparative is where we're comparing a thing or a group to some other thing. There are normally only two options being compared. So when my parents compared my younger sister and I, Abby was more athletic, I was nerdier. So that's the one that's going to end in ER. Superlative is where we're comparing a thing or a group of things to the larger group that it's a part of, oftentimes more pieces than two going on. Um, so you could be saying I am the eldest or the oldest of my siblings because we're both in that group of being a sibling versus being compared on a similar trait. In general, our one-syllable adjectives and twos that end in Y are going to become the ER for comparative and the EST for superlative. So tall, taller, tallest. With these adjectives that are more than one syllable, you're going to just add either more or most. Notice that we still have our ER, they're just in a different order here, and we still have that ST as a way for you to kind of mnemonically remember this. So when we are looking at our example one, we have to think about what's all being compared. We're comparing the climate of California and the climate of Minnesota. Two things, so those are going to need a comparative adjective. So we're going to take mild, add ER, and make it milder. Let's do a couple together. Kendrick's explanation of the water cycle was much brief, briefer, briefest, than the one in my biology textbook. So we're comparing Kendrick's and the textbook. So that's two things. So it was much briefer. The molasses cookie that Quinn bought at the bake sale was moist, moister, moistest, than the brownie. We're comparing two things. So we're going to do our comparative ER ending. Kira thinks that Romeo and Juliet is the romantic, romanticer. Mm, wait a second, that doesn't sound right. That's because it's more than one syllable. So it is the more romantic or most romantic play that William Shakespeare wrote. Because Shakespeare wrote a lot more than one, we're going to use the superlative most. Romantic. All right, let's take a look at skill BB3, which is going to be looking at good, better, best, bad, worse, and worst. Most of you guys are really good at using these, but realize that this is just a non patterned form of the exact same thing we were talking about because these are still comparative and superlative adjectives. So when we're looking at them as use against nouns and pronouns, we're still using ER and EST, they're just irregular words. So you just have to memorize good, better, best, bad, worse, worst. But the rule otherwise is the exact same as we're going through these. So. It's alarming but true. Our planet is experienced the blank rate of species extinction in recorded history. We know it's not going to be bad. It's either going to be worse or worst. So we have to think about what it's being compared to. All the other planets. So we're going to use worst. Golden Raspberry Awards, also known as Razzies, are awarded to movies that the Golden Raspberry Award Foundation believes are the worst or worst movies of the year. We're comparing a lot of them to each other, so we're going to use worst, the superlative form. I have to confess that I had a blank time at the football rally than at the antique auction. Here we're looking at two things that we are comparing 
So we want the comparative form better, not best. I hope that's helpful for you as you guys are working through these two sections of your grammar. As always, if you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out.